Hi, this is April 18th progress update. In the past days, I was bringing some functionality from version 2 uh, and temporarily I have removed file details here. So some shortcuts are implemented like cut, copy, paste and for now it doesn't use the taskmaster like the version 2 uh, and for those operations it's uh, using just Windows Shell. So like the version 2, this one also has background image. If there is a file called folder.jpg or cover.jpg, which already comes with many downloaded music albums. So this is folder.jpg, which will be automatically loaded as the background image. So it's easy to customize individual uh, folder backgrounds. Then I have also added support for uh, to-do files from version 2. Later I will add support for creating them. Uh, so you can check them and uncheck them right from this interface. And it doesn't come with performance penalty as with version 2. I have improved the look of the scroll bar a bit rounded it, made it semi-transparent, and colors will be also user customizable through theme, theme files. Uh, you can also switch to the Windows default scroll bar in settings if you like. If you like. For favorites, I've added drag and drop functionality and this insertion line. And for tabs, due to high demand, user feedback. I have added rearranging tabs with the drag and drop. It also adds this um, insertion point. And users also wanted renaming of files so you can right click say change alias and say this is destination say for instead of in case of sorting and please ignore the, the ugly buttons. It doesn't change the folder itself, folder name. It just adds the alias to the tab for, for uh, until you close it. Then there is a work in progress of um, thumbnail uh, items. So let me see where I have something. So if I if I switch to F, um, I say thumbnail view. It will have these thumbnails with fixed height. Fixed height has better performance than the variable height in version 2. So that will be default for now. And I redesigned the file view designer. So edit file views, it's on different screen. And now um, you can have you can control also uh, visibility of icon thumbnails. You can put the position of it if you like. So let's say 164 update. Well, yeah, it doesn't come fit now, so let's ignore it. So it will take some time to customize everything to your liking. And now you have to, have to also increase this so this is padding on the left say 266 uh actually i have to also move this a bit so yeah you have to know what you're doing and you'll need to experiment a bit to uh, make it the way you like but the functionality is there and that is all for this update please the Please keep the feedback coming. And I think the first alpha version will come sooner than I thought because now it doesn't depend on so much version 2 functionality to even run. So I can't make any promises yet, but yeah, it's, it's coming along. All right. Cheers.